Hello everyone, today is gonna be epic. I'm unfortunately a little bit sick right now, but not as sick as my new bike. Look at this beast. This is a brand new Honda CRF 110 pit bike. Since I got that cake delivered, it's re-sparked my excitement of motorbikes again. So the other day I got my CRF 70 and the 125 all fixed. We've been sessioning on them quite a bit and I just got so excited and carried away that I decided to get this thing. Because I've seen a lot from like Ethan now has been sending on these doing flips and stuff. And also I know Daryl Brown has one of these so I called him up, asked him about it. And uh, yeah, I've now got one because I got excited. And we're gonna go and try it out right now in the local woods, so let's get into it. We're down at the local woods now, and the best thing about this bike is it's got electric start, so the fun is so simple. Ah. We need to hit some jumps, really. I'm just going to go straight into that step up there. You already know that step up. It's the one I just cased in the last video on the, on the petrol bike. <laughs> oh, the suspension's so good compared to the 70. That's insane. I'm a bit upset of like getting it dirty though. If this bit of track was on a hill, it'd be so good on the bike. There's like two doubles into a berm, jump out of that berm, then a big step down, but obviously no way on a flat ground. But on the pity, very technical and dreamy. That's so good. <laughs> what an absolute beast. I wonder if you can suey them. Let me try and get a suey up there, Louis. Suey, Louis, then it's your go. Oh my God, that's horrible. I literally almost died. <laughs> Maybe you have to tuck these. There's not really anything to clamp on with. No, I know it's way sicker. An NFC. I'll do that, and then it's your go. Yeah! <laughs> I found it up there that it's perfect for wheelies. Look. Oh no. Oh, it's really scary with the back brake on your foot. This is it, a sick one. <laughs> We've come over to the little pit bike track here with a few berms and some turns and I'm gonna have a first session on this. Let's see how this thing handles then. Like a dream, clearly. Cool, yeah, so sick. Ah, <laughs> help. Oh, that's 
so good, that corner back there. Pushing the limits. Oh. Maybe I am sicker than the bike. Oh. This is so fun, this is insane. And I hit these little tables right here now. Manny, look. <laughs> Your turn, Louis. You got to clear them now. On the scary, way more powerful 110. Oh, so weird, my heavy. Oh my god. Oh, can't seem to keep the front end up. You have to keep throttling on the table. Oh really? You don't like stop. Oh right. That's why the front end goes down. All right. Bit better. There we go. I think that was better that time, wasn't it? Thick. There's a cool little hip here, and you can go up as high as you can up this bank. So I'm going to see what it's like, maybe get some little whips and like steezes and stuff. Oh, I thought I was going to hit the tree. <laughs> I want to do a. Um, this is just a shout out to Ethan now. If you don't know who that is, he's a uh, teammate of mine on Monster. He rode Rampage and all that. Pretty much a boss. He always does sick pit bike stuff. He like does this like one leg down table thing. So I'm going to put the fish eye on, try and copy on here. And if you do it right, you can see like a wonder the bike and that, and it looks well cool. Yeah, that's looking kind of how I want it. I'm going to try it again another time and then we'll get a slow-mo version, yeah? That worked out well good. That's so fun pit biking, like it's actually the best thing ever. I'm so glad that I got that cake a few months ago because that has sparked my excitement for these things again. Let's get another shot while you're on the fish eye lubes of that section up there, just like split into a few parts because I think it will look well cool, you know, like nice and close and stuff. Into the sickest section ever. Oh man, that section's so good. That's the only time I'm happy that something doesn't work on a bike because it means we can destroy it on this thing. We're actually going to come back. Our plan was to um, ride a bit today on the pity and then dig that and ride it on the mountain bike. But as I said, I was pretty, well, super sick the last days, which sucked. So we didn't, we're not going to do it today. <coughs> but I'm going to cut out all of them, them first jumps that I do into that berm and the one out of the berm. We're going to cut them away completely so then you get good speed into that step down because it wouldn't work otherwise on a bike. And then we'll have that into the step up. It'll be well fun. There's a little hill climb right here. I'm going to send, basically. Wow, easy on the... Pity. I'm going to go up a slightly more death bit this time. Oh, cool. That's so good. Oh, man. How is it so much fun? Like, this is the best thing ever. Oh, man. What an epic purchase this is. I'm so glad I decided to buy this thing. Hopefully, in the future, I can get a flip on it. And as I have the CRF 70 as well, which is lighter, I think I'll start on that, then hopefully move on to this. And then in an ideal and dreamy world, I might be able to flip the cake bike as well, but 
don't hold me to that we'll see how it goes um, the sun is dropping now so that is going to be the end of the session if you want to see more on the pit bike and or other motorbikes let me know in the comments but unfortunately that is the end of the video that'd be sick if you leave some comments and it'd be awesome if you subscribe see you in the next one